And I'm pleased to be joined now with two members of the Junior Optimist Club right here in Cornwall, or JOY for short, uh, Austin and Isabel. They're here to talk about uh, a, a wonderful new initiative that they're planning for uh, uh, the, uh, an upcoming weekend. So first of all, welcome Austin and Isabel. Hello. Hi. All right, so first of all, let's get to uh, know you guys a bit better and the Junior Optimist. Uh, maybe Austin, you could tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with the organization. Uh, I was reached out by uh, one of our super, or by the supervisors, Cheryl, Kathy, and Jody. Uh, to join because they were looking for members in, I believe it was September, so that's how we got involved with that. Wonderful. And Isabel, how, uh, how did you get involved? Um, I was sitting at home and then my cousin said, what are you doing today? And then she brought me to a meeting and then I enjoyed it, so I joined. Awesome. So, uh, and maybe tell me a little bit about uh, uh, Junior Optimist and some of the other things that you, you, that you do. Obviously, you, you guys have meetings, you have fundraisers. So maybe start with you, Austin. Talk to me a little bit about uh, what you do at the Junior Optimist. Uh, we just plan a bunch of, uh, we plan stuff for the community. Uh, we help out with the Optimist Club events uh, and different things like that. Wonderful. Isabel, anything to add uh, about some of the stuff you guys do? Uh, we just like to help the, well, help the community have fun uh, on days that they have nothing to do. <laughs> oh, that's excellent and uh, of course uh, you guys are two representatives of it but uh, uh, it's a big club so talk to me about uh, some of your uh, fellow teammates uh, that are part of the club. Um, we have about I think it's nine members. Uh, I believe so. Yeah uh, we have Noemi, uh, Elysium, Trinity, uh, Jacob, Kaylee, uh, Isabel, myself, uh, another Isabel, and Chloe. and Chloe. Well, that's so awesome. And uh, maybe I could, before we uh, segue into uh, the great event that you guys are planning, uh, one last question uh, on a personal note: uh, What is the opti or what is the being part of the of the, the Junior Optimist Club uh, meant for you, and what has it done for you? What have you learned uh, being part of it? Uh, we'll start maybe with Isabel this time. Being part of the JOI is kind of just like a fun way to just help the community it's to help like have the community just have fun and plan events and yeah absolutely Austin what has it meant for you to be part um, of the club it's like something to do uh, I don't like I'm not like a fan of sports or like I don't like to draw or anything it's like hands-on like with a community and we get to like see like improvements or like the joy it brings to like children and adults and everybody in our community. That's so wonderful. So, like I've alluded to a couple times, uh, you are uh, planning uh, Cornwall's first ever landmark challenge. First of all, where did the idea come from? Um, it first came from our supervisor Jody. He often brings us, sometimes he brings us some ideas. Uh, it started out as being a scavenger hunt. So he brought he brought up like a bunch of different examples. Um, we had liked that, uh, but we had left it at that for at one of our meetings. Okay, and now it's becoming uh, a bigger thing. So talk to me about uh, how it'll work. So basically, um, uh, from 10:30 to 11:30, we'll have registration down at the Cornwall Police Service. Um, then between 10. 10:30 and 1, which is when the race starts, we will we'll have a barbecue provided by the Optimist Club of Cornwall, and then once the race starts and everything, uh, they'll be given an envelope, and then they'll they'll rip that open, be given their clue, and then they'll proceed to go to their location. Wonderful. So, uh, do people do this alone, or do they form teams, or how does that work? Uh, they'll be they'll be in teams from two to four. Uh, we would like them to bring their own teams, but uh, say there's like two people that like are alone and they want something, sure, we'll, we'll team them up if they want to be teamed up. Perfect. And uh, do people just show up that day to register? You mentioned they can, uh, but should they, can, they, can they register ahead of time or maybe they should? Or? Uh, unfortunately, no. Uh, we are not holding a, a registration in advance since we only can have up to 30 team because it's only our first year. Uh, we decided just to do registration at the event. Wonderful. Uh, so easy. So all they have to do is uh, show up that day and uh, maybe Isabel remind us what day that is and what times? Uh, September 10th at 10.30 to 11, right? 
11.30. Oh, 11.30. Perfect. And uh, if anybody uh, is watching and uh, interested in maybe joining you guys in the Junior Optimist in the future as well, uh, how can they get in touch with you guys? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure all of our members will be there. We'll be wearing a shirt like I am now. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, don't be afraid to come and ask us. And uh, when you receive your registration form, all you do is like put the names of your team members, uh, your age, and then we will have a, a join JOI question. So if you're in grade seven to 12, you can write yes, no, or put a check mark or an X. That's wonderful. So a great opportunity maybe to recruit some new members as well, uh, all while having fun and, uh, and uh, making the community a better place. So I want to thank you uh, both for joining us. Thank you to you and the entire team for all the hard work that you're doing and best of luck with this great uh, new event. Thank you. Thank you.